Hi guys, welcome again to my channel. Today I have another Harry Potter unboxing for you guys. That's still a bit in the Christmas theme because uh, I still have this little bit banged up box uh, from a Magical Suitcase, which is the Christmas box that is Harry Potter themed for 2020. So I still have to unbox this one. Uh, don't worry, I already, you know, took a quick look through the box to make sure that nothing was damaged. Um, and so far I couldn't see anything that was damaged, so I'm pretty sure uh, we're okay on that. Um, but before we dive into this box full of still Christmas magic, if you're new to my channel, hi, welcome to Quill Scene. My name is Megan. If you like things that have to do with magic, with Harry Potter, with Star Wars, with Disney, with books, with writing, with anything geeky really, then you're in the right place. Make sure to click on that magical subscribe button and hit that bell. And on that way you'll always get a notification whenever I upload something new. But uh, yeah, time to get our scarves and hats. It snowed today here in Belgium, so it's the perfect scenery to see how um, Christmas in Hogwarts is celebrated. So as usual, before we start, a little bit more information about uh, the company behind this box. Magical Suitcase is located in Poland. They don't do actually monthly subscription boxes, uh, but they do always one-off boxes. So be sure to check out their website and their Instagram regularly. Um, because uh, then you'll see if there is a new box uh, online. Um, this one is themed around Harry Potter and was Christmas 2020. They also did a really fun advent calendar uh, with Harry Potter, which this uh, fun t-shirt uh, was part of. Uh, this is basically um, Ron's jumper that um, Mrs. Weasley knitted, because that's like a really big golden R on front. Um, and in another package there was uh, a long-sleeved version of this in dark blue, but then with the age of Harry on it. Um, the things I really like about Magical Suitcase is that they do a mix of small shop items and items they made in-house themselves and combine those with um, licensed items, so it's always a fun mix. Um, as I said, they are a Polish company, so when you visit their website, which I'll link down below, by the way, as usual. Um, you'll notice that they have like a two-part website. So you have the Polish version and the English version. So make sure to click on the English version in case, of course, uh, unless yeah, you're, you speak Polish or understand Polish because, uh, because otherwise, yeah, you get the Polish items. Um, not every Polish box has its counterpart in English, but a fair amount of them do. Um, they mostly focus on Harry Potter, Disney, Star Wars. Um, since beginning of this year, 2021, they are also starting with a mythology box every two months. Um, now in February, that was one would be the Vikings box. And then two months after that will be Greek mythology, which is, you know, I, I write about Greek mythology. So yeah, that's, that's kind of my thing. Um, but I'm... Yeah, a fan of basically every kind of mythology, so um, I'm sure you'll see all those mythology boxes in the coming year pass by on this channel. Um, but yeah, today, as I said already, we have the Harry Potter Christmas box that was still for 2020. Um, so I think I babbled enough about this box. Time for a sneak peek. So when we open this lightly damaged box, the first thing we see is on top of the red tissue paper, the spoiler cards and already another item packed in um, tissue paper and underneath the red one we have all sorts of items. Now as I said the first thing we see is like this little paper, um, on this one we already can see uh, candle instructions of how to burn a candle properly and on the back we have um, Yeah, basically the spoiler sheet so with all the items in it, so I'm not going to look at it too much I'm going to place it safely aside because we'll get to that 
on the end of the unboxing. So um, as you guys saw on top of the um, red tissue paper there was already this item. I think I already know what this is because in their um, the previous Harry Potter box that I got from them which was the Halloween special there was an item missing and I uh, sent them a message on Instagram about it and they are very nice so if you ever have problems or, or have questions be sure to uh, reach out to them, they are gladly to help. Um, and they said they would um, give me my potion, my mystic potion uh, in, my, in the next box. So let's see. Yes, this is the potion I was missing. Going to put the paper aside. So um, the potion that was, I'm going to shake it a bit to make the well glitter-like thingy. Um, the potion that was supposed to be in the Halloween box was this one called uh, Troll Snot. And um, basically the, they did a lot with the troll because uh, the silhouette of the troll on the label uh, they also did on a toad bag. So yeah, really like this, especially since it's Troll Snot and not Troll Boogers or something like that. So uh, yeah, I didn't have this one yet in my potion cabinet. And uh, yeah, as I said, really, really fun that um, they put it in this box since I was missing this in the Halloween box. Okay, that was the item that actually wasn't part of this box, but still. Um, let's see, we have some paper items on top. We have this little card um, that is from Medical Suitcase and basically says thank you for being our customer and um, there is also a 5% discount on it so uh, always fun to get that um, then we have an envelope that is sealed shut I should have taken my um, my my sword of Gryffindor that came in a geek gear box a few boxes back it's like a letter opener. Do I have my scissors? Yes. Really go with the scissors because otherwise I will rip this envelope to pieces. I know myself. Come on. The fight against paper gets real. Okay, so what do we have? It feels like a thick kind of letter on parchment paper maybe even come on get out of it Ooh, we have the Hogwarts crest Ooh. so we have like a paper replica of a letter written by I think could it be Minerva McGonagall or yeah well basically the Hogwarts faculty and it says Dear Wizard, first semester is over and we have begun the winter break at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. It's a special time when we unite, unite despite differences between the houses. Let these marvelous winter days be full of positive emotions. It doesn't matter whether either you spend the Christmas at home or at school. We're here for you and will always be like a family to you. The headmaster, the headmistress and all professors would like to ensure that you feel like at home here. We are prepared to take care of every young wizard and witch who decides to remain at Hogwarts during Christmas. A giant Christmas tree and chanted hall and drinking butterbeer in Hogsmeade are only a few of obvious reasons to stay here for the break. Those who prefer to visit their family family's houses we wish beautiful and warm moments stay safe and enjoy the time with your relatives we're waiting for your return best wishes to the families of our students so yeah a really cute little um letter with christmas wishes of you know the hogwarts staff uh again not the best and most special paper replica but still it's fun and it's especially with you know christmas the Christmas theme, it's fun thing uh, to have, so yeah, really cool. Going to put that one aside for now. Okay, what do we do next? Do we go for the fabric item or one of the boxes? Hmm, decisions. Let's go for the fabric item. Ooh, 
it's not a t-shirt it's way way thicker than a t-shirt so I'm pretty sure it's a hoodie oh nice yes it is a hoodie so it's a basic black hoodie with a, like a front pocket but the back look at the back <laughs> it's a platform nine and three quarters hoodie with of course the Hogwarts Express on it oh how cool is this I love the fact that they went for like gold and red and then the very dynamic picture of the Hogwarts Express I love it I am a sucker for hoodies. I love wearing them, especially now, you know, with Corona that you have to stay at home a lot. Um, I wear them over in my daily life, over my clothes. I even wear them um, during the evening over my uh, PJs. So yeah, really love this one. And you can never have too many hoodies. <laughs> okay, next, I can already see, I think this is the T. Is it the tea? Yes, it indeed is the tea and it's called Christmas Eve. And it's an Earl Grey, hibiscus, orange peel and cranberry. Really beautiful label yet again. And this is how the tea looks. Um, I like that they also included on um, what temperature you have to um, make this tea and how long you have to um, leave the tea in. Um, but as you guys probably know by now, I don't drink tea. I'm more of a coffee person. So uh, this one will be part of my tea box that I, um, you know, give out to my friends and my cousins who do drink tea because, yeah, it's just a shame to throw something like this out. So, um, yeah. <laughs> uh, what else do we have? Oh, I think my brother will like this one a lot. <laughs> so this is a licensed item um, and it's one of the gummy creatures. And if I'm not mistaken, is this fluffy? It looks like fluffy. I'm pretty sure it's fluffy. You don't can't see it pretty well. But um, yeah, these gummies basically come in different flavors and in different shapes um, from um, the magical creatures. I got him one for Halloween. That one was, I think, Aragog. Was it Aragog? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was Aragog. So this one will be in um, my um, candy basket that uh, my brother knows all too well. Uh, so yeah, I'm pretty sure he will like this one. Especially, I think this one is with... Uh, is it with... With... Yeah, I think it's with the... With, uh, lime or lemon and orange and those are two of my favorite uh, two of my brother's favorite um tastes so yeah flavors that was worth worth looking for so that one will go to my brother as usual when it comes to um to candies and stuff like that now we have a lot of boxes and bags let's go for this one we have a little cute tiny box. I have to admit, these were also in their um, advent calendar for the first time. This kind of packaging and I had so much trouble figuring out how to open this. But it's basically like a cake box, so you have to pull it like this and then open it like that. And it is a candle, I think? No, it's not a candle. Oh, I have to... It looks like a candle, but it's not because it says Hermione's Bewax Perfume. Okay. Ooh, it smells really sweet. So I guess it's like an oil or something that you have to rub with your on your skin. Mm, it really smells nice. I didn't know Hermione wore Bewax Perfume, but um, yeah, it really smells nice and... Uh, I'm sure I will use it from time to time because it really smells nice and I love the label like it has like these um, Yule Ball Christmas Sea uh, snowflake um, design and then with Hermione Hermione's name and everything in pink so yeah really really like this one and again I 
I didn't know it was a perfume, but it's really fun to um, not have it in like a liquid form perfume, but in an actual bee wax uh, form. So yeah, really original. And still, when you don't use it, you can still display it on your shelf. So that's also a plus. Um, let's go. Oh, I feel something papery. Ooh. Oh, there's only two, yes. Ooh, nice. So we have two um, bookmarks. And on this one is like golden sheen. And it says honey dukes and has a lot of golden snitches. And this one shows the um, nine and three quarters and the Hogwarts Express. And the paper is a bit like leathery textured. I really like this one. They are stepping up their bookmark game because usually it's like in this floppy paper. This is better cardstock. And I love the fact that they, you know, did um, a lot with the design of it. Um, this one is has like shimmers on it. This one has textured paper. Yeah, I really like these ones. And as a reader and writer, you can never have too many bookmarks. Uh, then... Hmm, okay, we go for another licensed item, um, which is the Funko. They uh, usually include Funkos, and this is the Patronus of Hermione, which is the author. Um, really fun Funko. Unfortunately, I already got this one in their advent calendar, so um, yeah, <laughs> I'm not going to unpack it. Um, but I'm sure that one of my friends will love to adopt this little otter because mine is like over there somewhere with my Niffler. Um, but yeah, really cute Funko. Um, bit of a shame that, you know, it's the same as I got in their advent calendar. But yeah, it's, it's kind of a risk when you have a lot of um, boxes. But still, it's cool. And I'm sure I will... Um, make someone of my friends happy with this one. Uh, we're still not on the bottom. We have like this huge white box. And normally when there are boxes like this, because that's why I thought the Bee Wax perfume was actually a candle, um, the boxes usually contain either a mug or either a candle. And since this one is a bigger box, I think this one will be a mug. Let's see. Yes, it's a mug. I have to say, though, they um, have... Um, oh, this one is cute. They um, also upgraded their um, mug design because um, before the December boxes of 2020, um, it were like this tall... Um, ceramic mugs and now we have like it are like these mugs which are um, enamel I think it is and they have like this cute border and they are a bit lower than they normally are and on this one you see um, beautiful character art of Hermione and Ron and Harry and then a quote that says have a very magical Christmas Oh, we have even Hedrick on, oh, on, on, sitting on uh, the broom. <laughs> That's so cute. And we have Crookchanks. We have Crookchanks and even um, Scabbers with um, Ron. Really, really like these. Um, again, I really love these mugs. Um, they have like more of a rustic old feeling. And I really love the character art of this. And even though Christmas is already over, I don't care. I will use this mug until... It, uh, the summer starts probably so uh, yeah really really love this I still have to to uh, contact them about these mugs because I don't know if they are dishwasher safe so uh, yeah I, I, I should check that up with them <laughs> uh, let's see okay we have like this little round bag what are you I can feel a card Oh, has something wooden. Okay, I'm going to put the bag aside. Oh. So we have, the first thing I'm going to show you this one first before I get to the paper items. This one is like a wooden ornament for in your um, Christmas tree, I guess. Um, 
and it if it stays still like this and it has um luna's famous specter specs uh and it says i suspect the nargles are behind it really really fun beautifully made be very elegant um and you may not know it but um now in the next christmas which is this year 2021 i will have my own christmas tree in my workplace and i'm planning to make it like a magical harry potter bookish inspired one so uh yeah i'm glad with any magical ornament i get so this one goes in my christmas decoration box uh what else was in this uh back paper back was this card it's in polish um because this one shows trelawney and on the back we have like a lot of information about divination but uh, they added this um golden card with it which is basically the english translation of all this so uh it's it says a bit more about divination and um how you can exercise palm reading and such so yeah really really cool especially for well in my case because i am a practicing witch so uh yeah really really cool fun item though it's paper and the card the actual card that is beautifully designed by the way um is in polish but still good solution to put then uh, the golden card with it Hmm, what else do we have? We have, I think, two more items. We have another little cake-like box. I already have to... I think... It's, yes, it's there. So, since we already had the mug and then the bee wax perfume, I guess this has to be the candle. Yes, it is. I'm going to put the little box aside. And it's called A Christmas at Hogwarts. And it should smell like chocolate, nice, orange, and marzipan, ooh. I'm not a fan of marzipan, my mom loves that, but I don't. But I lo like chocolate and oranges, ooh. Ooh, that really smells nice. And when you look in the candle, it has a wooden wick, sparkles, and of course, I think it's our, I don't know, orangey-like shavings or something in it it really smells nice it really smells nice it smells a bit like the kitchen during christmas preparation um and as usual this one has a wooden wick which means when you burn it it kind of crackles like an open fire so uh always fun especially with this candle you can pretend that you are sitting in front of the fireplace somewhere at hogwarts so yeah really really love their candles can't help it and i also like like the label on the side you have like a little christmas present and then you have like the the cinnamon sticks and orange slices and such so yeah really like this one and then the last item is something wrapped again in um well like these sturdy paper what could this be? Ooh, a potion! <gasps> a potion we can hang in our tree! <laughs> Ooh, I have to shake it again because the coloring and glitter is a bit mixed up, but still. So this is what's inside. It's a little bottle of gilly water. On the back you can see it's like a sheer see-through... Um, yeah liquid with a little bit of i think blue or silver in it but it still has to you know shake out and stuff like that and it comes with a ribbon so you can actually hang it in your tree and uh, or just display it like this in your potion shelf i really really love these uh, i love the label yet again it says the three the three broomsticks gilly water from the leaky cauldron really cool in their advent calendar they also had um, a few potions that you could hang in your tree. They are somewhere here. We have the Polyjuice Potion, this one. I'll show you guys a bit closer. So this one was part of their advent calendar, which was 
the polyjuice potion to hang in your tree. And there was another one right here. The um, little potion bottle of um, butter beer that you could also hang in your tree, but for the moment I display them on my uh, shelves. So yeah, that was that. Um, and then the box is empty. Oh well. Um, I think this was a really, really great box. So uh, let's take a look at our spoiler sheet to make sure that we didn't miss anything. Um, ho, ho, ho. Welcome wizards and witches in the special Christmas time. We've prepared an amazing box for you, which features a couple of unique items. What do we have for you this time? We start off with this uh, Funko Pop. Uh, I got Hermione's Patronus, but since I already got that one, I'm going to give this one away, but still I love the fact that they include um, Funkos in their boxes. Uh, then we had, uh, where are they? Right here. This fun and gorgeous set of paper bookmarks. Again, they are paper, but they are really good quality. And uh, yeah, they are just gorgeous. Uh, then number three was, where did I put it? Right here. The Christmas Eve uh, tea that I will probably give to my cousins or my friends. Uh, then we had our little, um, not bottle, but jar of um, B-Wax perfume. Really smells nice. I just think I have to heat it up a bit because it's not, you know, <laughs> it's not like you can rub it on your skin very well. So, but still, I think you can even put it just like this, just the, the jar open. And then, you know, use it as a center in a room or something, so, because it really smells nice. And you also have, like, that natural odor of the bee wax itself, so, yeah, really unique item. Uh, then, after the bee wax, we had, then we had the licensed uh, sweet jelly, from which I think this is uh, fluffy. And that one will probably disappear within a minute after this unboxing because if my brother knows there is something like this in this box, uh, yeah. <laughs> He's like a bloodhound when it comes to candy. Uh, then we had our uh, rapeseed candle with the wooden wick that smells like um, chocolate, orange and marzipan. Uh, then we have our decorative potion that can be hung or put on a shelf. That was our fun looking gilly water. Uh, then we had our, maybe one of my most favorite ones, the license, well not the license, the magical suitcase hoodie with the gorgeous bag design. I love it, really love it. They did uh, also, uh, that wasn't hoodie, but that was a sweater in their Magical Creatures box from 2020. And that one was with the um, dragon Dragonologist on it. That was one that was also fun. So uh, yeah, really loved the hoodie. Uh, then what else do we have? We have our enamel cup, which is so cute. I, I really love the artwork of this. They are so cute. I mean, they are with with their with their animals. Oh, I love it. And then um, the last thing we got was the wooden ornament of uh, Luna's quote and Spectre's packs together with this uh, divination card. And then, of course, we also had like this little extra freebie um, ladder of uh, the Hogwarts staff wishing us a Merry Christmas. And of course, also my uh, Trolls Knot potion that I missed in my previous box. So, yeah, guys, that was everything. Um, as I said before, I really, really like this box, even though the Funko was double, I, I already got it. But as I said, I'm pretty sure I can make someone that uh, is a close friend of mine very happy with that. 
Um, things, the, my favorite things in this box. Hmm, that's going to be difficult. The hoodie, for sure. And uh, the gilly water was fun. My brother will love the jelly creature. I love the mug. Uh, I also love like the uh, bookmark. So basically a really strong box, really fun box. Um, feel free to let me know down in the comments what you thought of this box. Was there something you missed? Was there something you didn't like? What was your favorite item? Just let me know down below. Uh, as usual, there will be lots and lots of pictures on my Instagram uh, with these items. And also a blog post in both Dutch and English on my blog. Um, all, those in all that information about my social media you also will find in the description box. Uh, so feel free to uh, follow me there too and see what I'm up to there. Um, then the things I still have to say is if you like this video please give it a thumbs up because it helps me more than you think. And thank you guys so so much for watching uh, this video and hopefully I'll see you guys soon for another bookish magical unboxing. Bye!